Learn how to transform your Revit models into 3D perspective renders easy and fast. Hi everyone, it is actually very easy to create 3D perspective views and renders in Revit using the program's generic render engine. It only takes a couple of steps and here's how to do it. So after we have finished creating our building model, to create a new perspective 3D view rather than this um, orthogonal uh, generic uh, 3D view, to do this we need to create a and place a camera in order to create new 3D views. To do this, first we need to open one of our plan views. I'm choosing to open the ground floor because this is where I want my camera to be placed at an eye level from the ground floor. And to create and place our first camera, um, we need to find the camera command. This is located at the top toolbar. There is a small house icon. This is the 3D view icon. Click on the drop down and select camera or second option in the view toolbar menu. Again, there's the same house icon command for the 3D view options. Click on the drop down and select camera. Now our mouse is holding a little camera along with it and uh, we need to select two points. First point we select is the actual location of the camera and the second point is the direction where the camera should be looking and the depth. So I'm going to click at the back of the building here uh, to a kind of not straightforward, a little slanted direction. As soon as we click on the second point, this will open our new 3D view. The program named this uh, view 3D view 1 and you can also find it in your project browser panel under the 3D views 3D view 1. If you want to rename it in case you are going to preparing a lot of 3D views, it's a good idea to change the names so you can have a reference and easily locate your 3D views at a later point. So to rename it, right click on this uh, new view and select rename and give it another name. I will name it front, front view and hit enter. Now going back into our main uh, view, we have our first perspective view created. I'm zooming out and I will also uh, make this uh, crop region bigger so we can have a full view of our building and move it down a little bit and make it higher at the top. We can also change the visual style, add shadows and also move around by holding the shift key and your middle mouse uh, button. You can also move the camera in a more visual style. Now let's have a look at the properties uh, tab. There are two main options it's worth uh, mentioning. This is the eye elevation and the target elevation. Um, this is basically the eye elevation is the elevation of the actual camera from the reference level. In this point the, our reference level is the ground floor. So currently our camera is at uh, one and a half meters, 1.55 um, from the ground floor and uh, the target elevation the camera is looking at an elevation of 175 so we can uh, change these numbers uh, let's first change the actual elevation of the camera the eye elevation make it uh, to 4 meters 
they, this will bring the camera up to uh, an elevation of 4 meters and still looking down at 175. Click apply and we can see that our camera has moved up and is still looking down. We can also change the target elevation. Let's make this to 3 meters. Hit apply and it's moved up. Now before creating our first render there's a few things that I would like to mention. Let's say for uh, save the project cancel for some reason uh, we closed our 3d view and uh, we're not seeing our camera anywhere the camera has not been deleted it's still there and to reopen it just select your front view right click and uh, click show camera this will open the camera options as well in the ground floor and in your 3d view again right click on the view you want to see the camera and select show camera um, now that we have our camera open in the plan view uh, we can also change the rotation by selecting this little red dot here it indicates the the rotation the angle of the camera just click hold it and drag it around to change the rotation and also we can also change the depth select this uh, small blue dot hold it down and bring it further in so if I change the depth of the camera to only the front of the building let's go back to our 3d view we can see that it's not showing the, the back of the building, it's only showing the part where we have indicated and this is only the front. Go back to our uh, plan view, select this blue dot and take it to the back. Now it's showing the whole building. Once we are happy with the setup of our perspective view, we can go ahead and create our first render to find the render command uh, again we have to go to the view toolbar and click on the render button we are using Revit's rendering engine click on render this will open a new pop-up window with a few options for us to select um, first option is uh, for the program to render just the selected region and it shows a red rectangle here no I don't want to render only the region I want to render my whole view as we have prepared it so I have un unchecked the region option quality of the image that will be generated we have a few options from draft to best and uh, custom I will leave it to draft to save some time the better quality you choose the more time it will take to create the render so I will leave it at draft resolution same as my screen lighting we have the option to select what type of lighting we want sun only Sun and artificial, artificial meaning any um, uh, lighting features we have included in our model. Artificial only, sun only, I will choose the exterior view, sun only. If we choose interior view, sun only, this will make our picture brighter because we are inside. So I'm going to use the exterior to make it as natural as possible and background again we have some options for the background uh, sky with no clouds sky few clouds cloudy very cloudy we can choose to have a color uh, from the color palette i can have it simply white uh, we'll choose uh, a cloudy sky and now we are ready to hit the render button and see how revit renders our image as soon as we click render it will start rendering and generating our image now depending on the complexity of your model 
and the processing power of your computer. This might take some time, uh, it usually takes only a few seconds. And here we can see our first render image being created. Let's do another render, this time choosing a color background, white background, hit render. Again, it will take the same time to render the image. And we can see the progress at the top, 18%, and it's done. If we're happy with our render image, um, we can uh, save this image so we don't lose it. If I close the view, uh, this rendered image will be deleted and we will have to re-render it again. The view will be saved, but the image, the rendered image will be deleted. So in order for us to keep this image and not have to render it again, we will have to save it to the project. To do this, there's a, a button here in the image section. It's called Save to Project. Click on it. Give it a name, front view render, and hit OK. And now uh, our uh, image is saved. And uh, if you want to find it again as a rendered image, this is located in your project browser uh, panel. There's a new option here called End Renderings, and we can ha we have our image that we saved available to reopen at any time and here uh, is our image if we want to export this image as a jpeg we can do so by visiting the file menu under export scroll down images and animations image this will open the export window where we will save it, save the current view, how many pixels, JPEG quality, hit OK, and our image is saved at the location where we specified as a JPEG file. So now that we have learned how to create 3D perspective views and uh, render images. The next step is to learn how to create walkthrough animation videos of our model, which we will do in a future Revit Tips uh, video. So make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching.